Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, like a very hot minute, since we have done a favorites video. So I pulled some things that I just have been very into. I see some skincare, some brushes, some hair products, some body products, and I thought that I would share them with you, like an old school situation. I don't even know if people are like into favorites videos anymore, but I decided that I'm making the kind of videos that I like. We're not doing dumb shit. <laughs> but before we get into the beauty favorites, I quickly want to mention to you guys my Audible pick of the month, which is basically a favorite as well. I've been partnered with Audible since, I don't know, the dawn of time, and listening to an audiobook is one of my most favorite things to do. Audible just has an unmatched selection. Whatever you want, they have it. They have so much more on the app now than when I originally started listening. They have Sleepcast, they have podcasts, they have Audible Originals, which you can only find on the app. So if you guys want to try Audible for yourself, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole, or you can text Nicole to 500-500. As of recently, I've been very into listening to like thriller, kind of scary, mysterious type of novels. Um, I feel like they just hold my attention and I am really able to like get into the book. I've said this before, but whenever I'm listening to an audiobook, I'm the main character. So in these like thriller ones, I'm like, ah, I don't know. Sometimes I just like to give myself a little scare. The audiobook that I just finished is by Karen Slaughter and it is called False Witness. Let me see, oh no, my brightness is all the way up. But I'll put a little pic of what I'm listening to on screen so you guys can see it. Karen Slaughter, just she's one of my like favorite like suspenseful writers. She's just really, really, descriptive when she is like giving details so I feel like it's really easy to visualize what you're listening to. I don't ever like to give you guys any kind of spoilers because for me personally I just I, I, I don't like it at all. Just know that you will be like in to this book. But yeah, listening to audiobooks is one of the most relaxing things that I do if you've never tried it. It's just great to listen in the car, when you don't want to watch TV anymore, when you're cleaning, when you're relaxing. It's just very zen to me. And like I said, it just helps me to kind of like forget everything and just dive into the audiobook that I'm listening to. So I highly recommend Audible if you guys have never tried it for yourself. Again, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole and you're in there, start listening. You don't like a book, you can return it. Download a new one easy. I need a little sip of water and we can get to it. Now I know what y'all are thinking. How is she wearing a sweater again? <laughs> I feel like the last video we were in I had a sweater on too but you guys know that I keep the AC cranked down in here plus it's a very rainy day outside and whenever it's like rainy and like ick outside I'm like cozy sweaters for life. Um, this one's from Urban Outfitters. I always get Nike sweaters in 2XLs because I feel like they play you, especially from Urban Outfitters. Sometimes I'll just get like a regular XL, which is usually what I get, and they'll be like tight, and I don't like that. I wanna swim in it. I wanna bathe in it. I wanna just move around in it. I want it to feel like a blanket, so I always get Nike sweaters, like crew necks like this, in 2X. I don't, you know, just in case you wanna know. The first thing I wanna share with you is my lip combo that I have been wearing nonstop, and believe it or not, it's only a lip liner and a gloss. That's it, I don't have a lipstick on, I don't have, I don't even know if it's a lip gloss, it's more of like a little lip treatment. Um, so the lip treatment that I have on that's making my lips glossy is from Artist Couture, and this is the Delicious Silky Lips. I love it because it keeps my lips looking shiny like this for a hot minute. Even if I'm like going like this, I, I, I find that the glossiness kind of stays there. And then the lip liner that I've been just obsessed with is from ColourPop and this is their Lippy Pencer in, did I say Pencer? <laughs> their Lippy Pencil in Beeper. So I just have these two on and it's what I've been wearing nonstop. Obviously I'm still overlining my lips. I feel like once you start overlining your lips, there's no there's really no going back. If you've never overlined your lips, you start it, you're never gonna stop. But this is just what I've been reaching for as of lately. I feel like it goes with just this makeup look that I've been doing non, non, non-stop. Um, it just gives it like a little bit more of like a 90s look to me, this lip pencil. I'm trying to um, go easy on my favorite lip liner of life, which is Bible, um, which is the old Carly Bible Il Maquillage collab. They don't make this anymore, so I was, I'm like trying to save him. And I feel like Beeper is pretty close to it. It just is a little more on the brown side than Bible. Bible's a little more pink, but I just love it so much. And the Artist Couture Silky Lips just gives like, a little bit of like a little rosy 
glow to your lips. So just love these so much. And that Artist Couture Balm is just so comforting on your lips. I just can't get enough. Also, I am wearing um, clip and hair extensions today. Okay, don't think that like my hair grew like this overnight. These are the Glam Seamless Priscilla ones. They have like this nice like wavy texture to them already. So I had air dried hair today and I was like, oh God, I don't really feel like, like doing my hair. So I just clipped in these extensions and like front waved my front pieces. And that's how lazy girls do their hair. So this one is from SkinCeuticals and this is their daily brightening UV defense sunscreen. This is an SPF of 30. So usually I like to wear like an SPF 50. And I've been wearing the SkinCeuticals one. I ran out of my tinted one, so I had to use the regular one. My battery died right in the middle of me filming and I didn't understand what was going on. I'm like, did the power go out? Meanwhile, everything else is on. Just the battery. When I wear a sunscreen, I tend to like to wear like a tinted version because I find that sometimes they leave like a white cast and I'm just like rubbing in forever and ever. So this from SkinCeuticals, again, it's the Daily Brightening UV Defense Sunscreen, it's SPF of 30. It also brightens and evens skin tone. I feel like it plays really well underneath your makeup as well because it just has like a little bit of tackiness to it right when you apply it. So I feel like that really holds makeup on your skin. But I also love it without any makeup on, it just makes you look so glowy and dewy. I, like I said, usually like to wear an SPF 50, but since this is just like such a bomb product and you just apply it and go, I, I, can, I can live with the 30, I can live with the 30. SkinCeuticals um, are a little more on the pricey side, but I am somebody that feels like you do get what you pay for, and all of their products are amazing. Their products have been really helping with my rosacea. There's gonna be a mask that I'm gonna talk about that if you have rosacea, it is so nice. You know what, let's just talk about it right now. I was gonna save him for later, but this is the SkinCeuticals Photo Corrective Mask. This is an intense, calming botanical mask, and I put this on whenever I'm feeling Mom, you scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry, I was trying to call you. Oh, I'm filming. I didn't see. Oh my lord Jesus, I was about to get the I'm gun. Sorry, but I got some really good news for you. Man, my mom scared me to death, y'all. And I just realized I don't have any of my rings on. Let me put these on before people are like, where's your wedding ring? <laughs> this lady called me one time. Let me put my phone, turn it off silent while I'm on, while I'm not while I'm home alone. Ooh. She left again. My mom's my bookkeeper, so she was bringing stuff from our accountant over to the house, because he's like, is close by me. And she was just here and left. Jeremy's playing golf, so I hear the alarm, beep, 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 and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> but it was just mom. So anyways, get my bad breath. Whew. I think I was talking about the photocorrective mask. So. I have rosacea, it's not like a bad case of rosacea, but since I started going to this new esthetician that's at Faces of South Tampa, you guys saw her in my vlog, I actually feel really blessed because I had a partnership with SkinCeuticals and they introduced me to her and now she'll be my esthetician for life because if you watch that video, she just has like magical hands. You hear me say it in the video, I've never ever in my life left a facial and my face not just been bright, bright red. Whenever I feel like my face is acting up, like say I'm just outside for too long, I come home and I just feel like it's like irritated in my cheek areas, I put this guy on for like 10, 15 minutes and it instantly cools and like refreshes my face. It does make such a difference in my skin. The last time I saw her, she noticed a difference. The redness has been like, kind of like, just like, it's not, it doesn't flare up as much, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So if you have rosacea, I feel like this is a good investment. I also use the photocorrective calming gel, like in my nighttime skincare routine, I kind of go off and on it. Like I also use like a hydrating B12, like hyaluronic gel and that one. So I kind of do one or the other whenever I'm doing my face. Um, but when I first started to see her, I would use the calming gel almost every single night. And then this guy, I really only use if I feel really hot. If you have rosacea, you know what I'm talking about, your cheeks just get really, really warm and it's just, I, I, I just hate the feeling. So that mask has really been helping to combat that and just like cool and calm my face down, which thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Another skincare product, this one is from Ula Henderson and this is the Dewtopia 20% Acid Night Treatment. This is also an amazing product that I feel has just been helping with a lot of the congestion 
I'm not used to hair extensions anymore. I just feel like it's so much hair. This has been helping a lot with the congestion in my skin. I feel like it's really cleared up so much. Like before when I would like rub here, before I got that last facial, I could just feel like it was like super, super congested. So this has AHAs, PHAs, and a lemon enzyme. It smells so good and the texture of this is so, so nice. So I like to put this on at night. Obviously it's a night cream it's a night treatment and I have sensitive skin and rosacea and I haven't noticed anything crazy I haven't noticed like any drying any flaking you put it on and then it just dries down really nice there's no stickiness there's no I don't know there's nothing once it's dried you can't even feel it on your face <clears throat> and again I was like, what happened? Always when I used acids before, I always noticed that my face would get like dry and flaky. I haven't noticed any of that with this. It's just such a nice product and I can't get over the texture of it and the smell is just so, so refreshing. And if you go on Sephora and read the reviews on this thing, they're like out of this world. Everybody seems to like love this product and I agree. I feel like it's super powerful, but it's like really gentle at the same time. It's just been working wonders for me and my skin. I feel like my skin has been looking chef's kiss okay like that be that might be a little much but I gotta pat it on the back now watch I'm giving it like all these compliments I'm gonna break out tomorrow <laughs> Um, the next skincare one is actually brand brand new. This is from Desi. I believe that this just launched like this week, the 27th. It's only the 28th today. And this is her Do Me Over Prep Set and Refa Refresh Face Mist. This spray on this thing, y'all, this is a continuous spray mist. Like, I'm, I don't feel like spraying it on my face because I'm gonna get it in my hair. I've already sprayed my face like 10 times. But look at this spray. And it'll keep, let me get some on here, it'll keep spraying. Like, it is a full continuous spray. You know how some say they're continuous and you spray it and it's like a little pump? Like, it's a long pump, but you can probably press this down and spray the whole bottle. <laughs> Not that you want to do that, but it's such a nice, fine mist. I love the fact that right, the first spray that you get is a fine mist. There's no, like, like spit, you know what I'm talking about? Like when you use a setting spray, sometimes that first spray can be like a little bit aggressive. None of that is happening with this. The packaging is super, super cute. And I love to spray it with no makeup, make it makeup. I've had it for like a week or so now and it's just super refreshing. It plays so well with your makeup as well. I set my makeup with it today, used it before I did my makeup, during my makeup, bomb product. The mist is just so good on it, so, so good. For foundation, I've gone through a lot recently. Like I was like on a powder foundation kick and then I was doing like the She Glam like full coverage and then I was like, what What am I doing? I don't need like a full, full coverage situation right now. So the one that I have just been reaching for nonstop over and over again is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. This is foundation plus skincare and I use mine I think in, yeah, medium neutral 31. It says it improves bare skin in two weeks. It's water light, medium coverage, and a natural radiant finish. I don't have any powder setting my foundation. I have a little bit of brightening powder under my eyes and then like powder blush, but no powder on my face. I don't even wear bronzer anymore. I know. I just feel like it kind of like makes you look like a little, I haven't been into it. So I haven't really worn bronzer in a hot, hot minute. This foundation is, is so, it, it's just so beautiful on the skin. You only need like a few pumps and you just get like such beautiful coverage. It is buildable if you want to, but one layer is always enough for me. And while we're talking about foundation, this foundation brush is another one of my favorites. This is the Ariel Morphe Collab. And I'm not really like a fan of Morphe in general, but I'm a fan of his and these brushes are just, out of control. I have them all. I'm gonna mention the three to you that I think are just like, I can't, let me pull this hair back because it's getting a little. So I do have the full collection. I, I purchased them myself. I had to order the, I think this one that had like the face brushes. I ordered it from like self, Selfridges, Selfridges, Selfridges. I can, I can never say it. I've been to the actual store in London. I can't, Selfridges. I don't know, it's, it's in London. And that's how I was able to get them. I'm so happy that I did because I use these three from the kit like every single day or whenever I'm doing my makeup. You know I'm not wearing makeup every day. But this is the foundation brush. I don't know what, I don't know what they did, but this brush is magical. It does remind me of the It Cosmetics 
brush, which if, if you can't get this brush, this um, It Cosmetics one is absolutely amazing as well. Kind of like, they kind of look the same, but this one, I don't know, there's something about this that you, it just lays your makeup so beautifully on your face. And then this one is the A14 brush, which I always use to brighten up underneath the eye. You can use it to blend out your concealer as well as set your concealer. For me, I only use it with powder and I use it with a brightening powder and it just fits so nicely underneath your eye. And then the blush brush is another one of my like favorites. This is the A22 brush. I used to use like a more dense brush and this one is just like so, it's almost like a fan brush, but like in a little dome shape and it just applies your blush just like so airbrushed to the skin. So these three, I haven't even used any of the other brushes. These are, I just can't live without. I was kind of debating if I wanted to mention them or not because I don't even know if they're available, but I just use them so much and I have a ton of brushes, but none that have been like so impactful like these. Like these, these are magic tools, okay? I have another brush that you can get your hands on, but I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. It Cosmetics also makes really amazing brushes. This like the one that I just mentioned to you. This is the, oh, it's like rubbed off, but I believe it was the Airbrush Flawless Complexion brush. It's like a little dual ended side. This for foundation is magical as well. And this one is the Airbrush Blurring Concealer Brush. This is what I use to blend out my concealer. And this one has got its own little magical scent to it as well. I get the It Cosmetics brushes from Ulta. I just find that they're like sold out a lot. So maybe you gotta go like on a little hunt for this one. Cause I've tried to purchase this blush. I tried to purchase this like one or two other times in store and it wasn't there. And finally the last time I was there, I was like, finally. I got my hands on it, but it was hidden. I feel like somebody was like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna come back, and they put it like in another slot, and I found him. So this brush is really amazing for blending out under eye concealer. Someone is trying to hack into my Snapchat, which I haven't used my Snapchat in like 35,000 years, and this is the second code that I've gotten. <laughs> so good luck with that. Next is two blushes. The first one is from Dominique Cosmetics and this is a cream blush. I always apply a cream blush first. You guys know that I was like really into the Milani um, Nude Kiss. That one's amazing as well. And then I started using this one. I like it a little bit better because it's a little, it's not as, um, it's not as like pigmented when you first apply it. So I feel like it's less, you're less likely to mess up with this one. It's like more of a sheer cream blush, but very, very buildable. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. The shade is soft pink. It comes in three other tones, like a more natural looking, it's a little bit deeper than this and like an orangey tone one. This is my favorite. I love like a pink blush. I feel like I have a cat here. I love the texture of it. All right, see, I can't have my phone on. <laughs> Do you remember when we used to like buy ringtones? Now I just wanna bomb my phone out the window when it makes one single noise. I don't even have it on vibrate, I turn the vibrate off. <laughs> really love the texture and the buildability of this cream blush. And then, <laughs> and then the Dior uh, Backstage Rosy Glow in pink has been, I've just been using it nonstop. I feel like it's cause I was like on TikTok and everybody was like, this is the blush that Kylie Jenner uses. And then you watch like one of the Ariel videos and he's like, no, I don't even use that blush. Um, but for me, it's just so perfect. It kind of reacts to your pH and will kind of change to the perfect shade of pink for you. And I just love, like I said, a pink blush. So I've just been really into it. It looks very electric and neon on camera, but as you can see, it kind of really settles into this like beautiful flushed cheek glow. And I can't, I can't get enough. For me, you guys know blush is my favorite thing ever. I will load blush on because it is the first thing to fade on your face. So don't be scared to pack it on because it's gonna fade. And then you'll be left with like something like, like this. But I just love it. it. Has this beautiful glow to it as well. And these two play really nicely together. If you do want to make your blush last longer, apply a cream and then set it with a powder and then it will last a lot longer than if you were just gonna do like one or the other. All right, next are two hair products that I use all the time. The first one is from IGK and this is their first class. This is the charcoal decop <laughs> detox. Uh, dry shampoo. This is such a powerful dry shampoo and I have dark hair obviously and I find that I don't get like a very intense white cast. All you got to do is like really make sure you're working the dry shampoo into your hair but the amount of oil it absorbs like you could not wash your hair for like two weeks use this dry shampoo and look 
like you washed your hair. Ever since I started to use this dry shampoo, I can't go back to any other ones because I just find that they don't really do the job. As you can hear, like this thing has got like this much in in it. I just love using dry shampoo, even on my like my freshly washed clean hair. I have very fine hair and it's super, super soft. So if I'm fresh out of the shower and I blow dry my hair, it's just like, you know, it doesn't want to do anything. So I always have to spray it with dry shampoo. This adds a lot of texture and body to it when it's clean. And then when it is dirty, it refreshes it so well that I, like I said, I just can't use any other dry shampoo. None of them compare to this one. And I, I feel like I've used hundreds hundreds <laughs> there is something in my eye and i just don't know where it is my makeup looks good up close i like it there you are yep it's a cat hair yay so if you're into like doing buns or slick ponies or anything like that you need this product in your life this is the r and co mannequin paste i <laughs> i can't it's just the best thing ever for anything slick that you're doing. It doesn't leave any residue if you like, so for me when I wear like a slick bun, I'll wear it two days in a row. And it still looks good the next day, even if I sleep on it. Like I take my bun out at night and I can pull it back up and brush it. No residue, no flakiness, your hair looks shiny. It is so slick, so laid, uh, nothing that I've ever tried, no gel, no edge control, no nothing puts my hair up in a bun like this paste does. A little bit goes a really long way. It just is the best thing ever. I don't even know like what else you would use this for. Styling paste for volume, flexibility, and shape. Flip your hair upside down and run through with your fingers. Do not brush out. What? I don't even, I don't know because I feel like once you put this in your hair, it's in your hair. <laughs> like your hair is not going anywhere. So I think this is like my third bottle of this. It's just so good. Cause for a hot minute there, my hair was in a bun like every single day. You wear buns, you wear slick ponies, anything like that, you need it, okay? Thank me later. All right, next are a few mascaras. Well, I guess no, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so two of them are priming situations. I just wanted to give you like a higher end version, which is the Lancome. This is the like primer base. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, I use this every single time I put my mascara on. I was using this Pacifica Vegan Collagen. This is a lash serum and primer, which is really nice as well. The only reason I prefer the Lancome one is solely because of the brush. The brush is a little bit smaller um, and it's just a little less messy. As you can see, this uh, Pacifica brush is just like jumbo. She is out there, she is large, she is in charge. I do like the fact that it was like a lash primer, um, like a lash serum and a primer in one, um, but I've just kind of been using the Lancome one as of recently, but this one is a really nice alternative to this guy. And I love the Pacifica Vegan Collagen. This is the fluffy lash. You wanna see a wand? I mean, you wanna see a large wand? Look at this guy, like he is huge, but he does a really good job at fluffing up your lashes, like it says. And I love the fact that it's like vegan collagen. Um, You guys know that I use more than one mascara, so you know that I'm adding like Voluminous Carbon Black in there. I'm adding some like Benefit Real mascara in there, but I feel like this one is the star of the show. Again, it is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash. All right, two more things to talk to you about. They're not beauty related at all, but this one is a light and it is from Big Softy and you just pop it, oh, it's on right now. You just put it on your phone like this and it just takes such amazing pictures of you. You can turn up the brightness. You can also change the temperature. It goes from like cool, super cool, warm, super warm. And then it has a bunch of different um, like settings also so you can lower it so you can make it brighter or dimmer and it just really does like make such a difference when you're taking photos. It's super lightweight. I also put it like on my vlog camera screen sometimes, like if I need just like a little bit extra light. It's very like high, like quality feeling, but still really lightweight and it's just all touch. You just touch the side to turn it on and then hold to touch to turn it off. I think I got it on an Instagram ad. <laughs> and then last but not least is this Diamond Dazzle Stick. I get these from Amazon and I always keep them in my purse because most of the time I'll like put my ring on and I put lotion on afterwards or sunscreen or spray hand sanitizer or something and then your ring you're just like, oh man, what did I do? And you're like trying to give it like a little shine or whatever. This guy will just bring it back to life. I love that it's like a brush and my ring sits up so stuff will get like caught underneath. So 
it's nice to like scrub underneath there, scrub my bands, and it just does a really good job and it's really quick at just like making your ring or your bands or whatever. I use it on my earrings as well. Just brings them back to life really quickly without having to like put them in the solution and wait and like vibrate them and like all that stuff. They come in like a pack of three. So I have one like right by my sink, I have one in my purse, and I have one in the bathroom. Just so whenever anything needs like a little extra sparkle, this guy comes in super handy. Super handy. Also, my ear is doing well. If you remember, I ripped it out last week. Well, not out, just yanked it through. Watch the vlog if you haven't seen it. But yeah, if you guys made it all the way through to the end, you are the real MVP. I feel like I was a little too chatty in this video, but I missed you guys. I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed in this room in a hot minute, so uh, it was nice to sit here and chat with you guys. That is it for me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found the products interesting and you picked some of them up because all of them are really just amazing. They work so well for me, so I know they will work well for you. I think that is it. I don't have anything else to tell you guys except I love you, and I will see you super soon in another video. Bye, guys.